Tuesday is the 4th of July, and it will sadly mark one year since Highland Park suffered enormous loss at its annual 4th of July parade. This year's celebrations will look much different for that community, commemorating the holiday while honoring and remembering the lives lost and lives that continue to be impacted today. Here's Lexi Souter. Memories from last summer are flooding the minds of the people who survived the parade shooting as they decide how to mark the tragedy. Something happened the other day. I was driving to downtown Highland Park, going east, and I was at the intersection where it happened, and it was the same time of day, the same warmth, the same sunshine, and I just got a pit in my stomach. Dean and Susie Zielinski were in the line of fire on July 4th, 2022. Over the last year, they've coped through conversations. Like, I'll just bring up, I can't believe it, we didn't die. Just simply like that. I can't, I can't believe it. How did we not die? And then we go through the whole thing. Those thoughts linger as the longtime Highland Park residents mark July 4th of 2023. I think they should have the parade. I'm on the fence. This year, Highland Park is commemorating the 4th of July in a much different way. Leaders say they're taking a trauma-informed approach, respecting the fact that everyone is in a different place with their grief and their emotions. The parade as we know it is not happening. Instead, a remembrance ceremony and moment of silence, followed by a community walk and later a public picnic in Sunset Woods Park. In the evening, Gary Sinise and the Lieutenant Dan Band will play a live concert, followed by a drone show instead of fireworks at Walters Field. I think what they're doing is wonderful, needed. For me to take my young son, I'm not going to do that. I, for his healing process still. Gina Triani and her now six-year-old son Gino are still traumatized by what they heard and what they saw. That's why they're opting out of this year's events. As a parent, I need to you know, be strong and make sure I'm doing things to help him lift him up, to help him, you know, strong and not scared of this holiday. People in the Highland Park community are ultimately torn on their plans, but supportive of how the city is choosing to move this community forward. A community scarred by violence, but remaining strong and unified as together they mark this milestone. Lexi Suter, NBC5 News.